in this lecture we're going to relate entropy with work done so this lecture is about entropy and work done and i have uh, drawn two systems uh, so in the first system gas is uh, under under pressure it's uh, there's a there's a high pressure system where the gas molecules are close together and there's a movable uh, plate on top of them so this is the low entropy state particles are closer together there's less disorder they they're close together so there's less disorder energy is less widely distributed so it's a low entropy state what would happen is that if this plate over here is movable is it's easily movable what would happen is that the particles would would collide and they would push this plate because of the high pressure of the particles they are they are constantly colliding with this particular plate they're going to push this plate upwards and they're going to go towards a low pressure state this this plate would be pushed upwards the particles would become widely separated and it's going to be a high entropy state the energy would be more widely distributed so uh, this change from low entropy to high entropy is a spontaneous process so whenever you have a high pressurized system it's going to it's going to quickly go towards uh, if it gets a chance it's going to go towards a low pressurized system for example there's a there's gas trapped in a tire tube uh, if the tire tube bursts it's going to the particles will closer together first and they would quickly move and become more widely separated so moving from low entropy state to a high entropy state means that entropy is being gained and the change in entropy is positive so there's a there's a gain of entropy so gain of entropy and whenever entropy is gained the work done is by the system for example if you can see the plate no external work was done all the work that was done on this plate to push this plate from below and it moved upwards so the process of pushing this plate and all the energy that was being provided to the plate was being provided by the particles themselves so no external work was done no external work was done and energy was actually there was a net output of work so you must remember whenever there is a there is uh, there is a change in entropy and delta s is positive there is a gain of entropy whenever systems move from low entropy to high entropy all the work done is by the system no external work is done so so these type of systems are capable of producing energy so there's a net output of work whenever whenever uh, a system moves from low entropy to a high entropy state we can also discuss the opposite process for example if we move from this side to this side if we go from a low energy system which is a low pressure system which is this one and create convert this system into a high pressure system we would be doing work an external work would be done to push this plate downwards and there would be a net input of work so if you move from a high entropy state to a low entropy state that would mean there is a net input of work so this if the arrow is moving in this direction then there is going to be a net input of work so we can sum this up so our first point is if delta s is positive that means entropy is being gained there is going to be a net output of work and the system would produce energy and vice versa if delta s is negative then that would indicate that there is a net input of work so energy would be taken in by the system just to explain this further i'm going to take the example of uh, of air bags uh, that are present in cars now these air ba air bags are used for safety they prevent uh, they prevent they cushion the impact whenever a car is in an accident and uh, the reaction that happens when an air bag explodes or opens up is that air bags have sodium azide which uh, which easily decompose so when an accident occurs they decompose and they produce sodium and nitrogen gas now if you look at this reaction a solid uh, sodium uh, azide this is sodium azide so uh, sodium and nitrogen uh, bonded together a solid substance is breaking down decomposing and producing a gas now if you remember this uh, means that entropy change is positive delta s is positive and disorder is increasing because gas is being produced 
so disorder or entropy in this particular reaction increases now whenever entropy increases if you look at the image the nitrogen gas is going to push the driver back so all the work done would be by the system by this sodium azide which is decomposing and producing nitrogen gas so as entropy is increasing work is done by the a bags uh, no work is being done on the a bags all the work done is being uh, is being done by the a bags so there's a net output of work so whenever delta s is positive there's going to be a net output of work So I've taken the example of a simple car bag, uh, an A bag in, installed in your cars. So uh, whenever delta S is positive or entropy increases, that would mean that there's a net output of work. Now the next part is we're going to figure out how to measure this energy output uh, that is due to entropy change. Uh, previously we discussed uh, the formula of entropy change for calculating entropy change. So entropy change was uh, the amount of energy uh, added or removed from, in, from a system at a particular temperature. So when work is done, energy is removed from the system. There's a net output of work. So, so Q is energy. So if I want to make Q the subject of the equation, the, this same expression would, would become, it's going, to be, it's going to become delta Q is equal to T multiplied by delta s where delta s is the entropy change which is in joules per kelvin per mole and t is your temperature in kelvins so that would be in kelvin so these are the units that would be used so i've read it in the formula uh, previously we studied delta s was the energy being added or removed from the system at a particular temperature so now if i want to figure out what energy is being removed or added to the system I can make delta Q the subject of the equation and this expression will become delta Q is equal to T delta S. So T delta S or temperature multiplied by the entropy change, this expression would give me uh, the amount of energy that has been the amount of energy that has been added or removed from the system. Added. Or removed due to entropy change another thing that needs to be added here is that we previously discussed that if Delta S is positive that entropy change is uh, positive there's a net gain of entropy or entropy increases there's a net output of work which means that the sign of energy is going to be it's going to be negative there's an output of work so whenever there's a there's a, something that is exothermic there's a net output of work that would indicate uh, that the sign of energy is going to be negative. So if delta S is positive, so if you have delta S and the value of entropy change is positive, there's a gain of entropy, then you're going to add a negative sign with delta Q because that would indicate uh, that work is output. There's a net output of work. Vice versa, if delta S is negative, then you're going to add a positive sign with Q that would mean there's a net input of work. So remember that you need to figure out the sign of the energy. Uh, if delta S is positive, entro entropy change is positive, there's a net gain of entropy, work would be done by the system. So, so the energy, uh, the sign of energy is going to be negative, it's going to be exothermic, vice versa if there's a decrease in entropy. Uh, so there's a net input of work, work is being done on the system so the sign of energy is going to be positive it's going to be an endothermic reaction